Hi, what's up guys, it's Tony here. So if you have a PayPal account and at some point you receive money into your PayPal account and that money is being kept on hold by PayPal and them asking you to provide uh, proof of fulfillment or your ID, what do you do? Okay, so in this tutorial, I will show you exactly what to do when you have your money on hold or your account is restricted. Uh, how to go through the process of providing proof of fulfillment and also submitting your id so that you have your money released okay as you guys can see i received uh, this payment and it's currently on hold so if you are in this kind of situation uh, this is how to resolve it so go to uh, notification just log into your paypal account and when you log into your paypal account you will see a notification right here okay saying uh definitely they're going to send you this we need some information from you so i'm just gonna open up this okay so that you see uh the, the information that is needed to resolve your issues so you see uh you need upload a photo id right and then provide proof of uh fulfillment right so uh my photo id i'm just gonna uh select the type of photo id i I have which is government issued photo id okay and i'm going to kind of upload this this kind of differs when you have limitations in your account just so you know okay so government uh, uh issued photo id which i have uh selfies email okay which i'll then submit okay have been submitted Okay, so this has been submitted. So the next one is provide uh, proof of fulfillment. So let me just explain. Proof of uh, fulfillment is more like uh, let me let me just show you guys what it means. It's more like uh, a proof that you have uh, processed whatever. Uh, if you are selling physical items, yeah. If you are selling physical items, just so they know that you have you know supplied the item that you are getting paid for but i do digital uh services uh this is a gig uh, uh one of my gig okay gigs i offer so it's not it's not like i'm selling a physical product so i'm going to uh resolve okay i'm going to click on resolve uh they will need me to submit uh for each transaction this particular transaction so i'm going to how to resolve this is you are going to go to your account which is your home and find go to uh, your activity okay recent activity and find the transaction that triggered this particular limitation to your account so you're just going to click on which in my own case which is this so i'm just going to click on it and then you have uh this page information uh of you know the page where this uh, transaction uh, got triggered right so all you need to do is to click on add tracking info right add tracking info and you guys can see so this is where you tell paypal that uh, i have you know done what i'm supposed to do okay so on this tracking information page all i need to do to do is just to go to uh, order processed okay and take tracking not required right and then you just kind of click on submit So once uh, you click on com comments, you just go to activity. I uh, would like you to download uh, a page which this will show you. Okay, so you're going to go to that uh, same transaction. So you're going to click on print details and then save this information print. We are going to save it as PDF. So let's save it with uh, digital services okay so i'm going to save this with what i remember okay so the next thing you need to do is to go to uh, that activity a uh, tab where you have uh, this upload a uh, photo provide a proof of this so just click on resolve and click on the transaction that triggered the limitation uh, then you are going to scroll down here and click on any other proof of fulfillment and then down here you'll be required to describe you know what happened so in my own case i'm just going to tell them that this service has been uh, uh delivered electro electronically okay 
uh, uh, I don't need to ship it, right? This is it. I just click on this. Then I'm going to attach that document that I downloaded, I printed. So I'm just going to go to downloads. I think I have it here. This, okay. So I click on open, which I just attached it here. And then I'm going to click on continue, right? Provide uh, this submit. Okay, let's go to account uh, uh, limitations and see. Okay, so normally this takes a while, like as, as I've submitted my ID proof of uh, fulfillment, it will just take a while. If it followed the right process as I just showed you, this should take like maybe like a few, uh, few days, as they mentioned here, within a few days, and uh, uh, they will get back. Like you come here and check the, the updates if they have lifted their uh, limitations and you can continue with whatever you are doing with your account. And I'll come back here to update you guys when they respond, actually. Yo, so I'm back again after three days of recording this tutorial. Paypa has finally responded and allowed me to withdraw my money. Yeah, after they received uh, proof of fulfillment and then my ID, which they verified is right. And they released my money. So if you if you are facing the same issue, kindly go through this tutorial. I know you must have gone through this tutorial. And hopefully I'm not Paypa, so I'm not guaranteeing a hundred percent that they will release your money okay but if you follow the same process uh you've had uh you have a greater chance of having your money released to you so i'll see you guys on the next time a peace